welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my top five favorite foundations for combination slash oily skin. If you know me, I have super, super oily skin and during the winter time it is a little bit more combination. But it's taken me so long to find five foundations that actually work well for my skin tone that are kind of at a reasonable price. I do have one or two products in here that are high end. The rest are drugstore. So this is going to be super easy for you guys to go ahead and pick up. And it's not going to be, you know, you're not going to like spend a crazy amount on a foundation. You know what I mean? Because I know, personally, it's very hard for me to spend a ton of money on a foundation. So if I can find one in the drugstore... Sounds good to me. So if you guys want to see my top five favorite foundations for oily slash combination skin tones, skin types, then just keep on watching. I don't think you guys understand how many times it's taken me to do that intro. So the first foundation that I'm actually going to show you guys is one I used in the last video I uploaded, which I will leave a link down below and also something to link it in the cards. Um, but this is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. It's breathable, buildable coverage up to 24 hour fresh complexion. I really, really like this stuff. It's not a matte, it's not like a super matte foundation where it's like super drying. I've already explained a lot on this foundation in the other video, so if you really want in-depth information about this foundation go check out my last video but I do really really like it it's kind of a satin finish so it's not super matte it's not super dewy it's right in the middle which I love I don't like super matte foundations because I find that they look super cakey and dry on my skin so I prefer that satin or a little bit more of a natural finish and that's definitely what you see with this I really really like it it doesn't feel super heavy on the skin it feels like you have nothing on and it gives you that nice full coverage and that long lasting wear it also has a pump which is freaking amazing for drugstore, which the drugstore is really stepping it up with pumps now, I'm just saying. The next foundation I absolutely love is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. It has a doe foot applicator, which I will show you, and I love it. It's not the most sanitary thing ever to have a doe foot applicator, but I really, really like it. It doesn't really say too much information on it. It just says that it's full coverage, but I love this stuff. It keeps my oil at bay. It's definitely not transfer resistant, so if you're looking for a transfer resistant foundation, this is definitely not the one, but if you're looking for something that's going to last and it's going to make still make your makeup look good all day, I love this stuff, and it gives awesome, awesome coverage. It is a more matte foundation, but I notice the longer I wear it, the better it looks, which is just awesome. Awesome. I love foundations that are like eh in the beginning and the longer you wear it you're like mm, girl look at my skin right now like dang you know so I really really like this this retails for around $12 at Ulta and it is so so bomb and I love it and I also love the concealer that goes with this too just so you know this L'Oreal foundation also retails for around $12 depending where you go I just want to mention that because I kind of forgot the next foundation is an oldie, but a freaking goodie. I have not seen so anyone use this in so, so long, but if you want an Estee Lauder Double Wear dupe, I got you, girl. Estee Lauder is, the Estee Lauder Double Wear is one of my favorite foundations. I'm wearing it today. It's my every, every, every day foundation. I absolutely love this stuff. But if this is a little bit too pricey for you, the Revlon Color Stay is just as good. Like this, they are just like twins. Like they're so similar. Um, this one's a little bit more liquidy and this one's a little bit thicker, but the coverage is the same. The texture is like the te like the feeling on your skin is the same. And but it's not like it's not like a heavy feeling. It's so hard to explain. But if you ever tried the Estee Lauder Double Wear, this feels almost exactly like it. It's transfer transfer proof, whatever. The Estee Lauder Double Wear is transfer proof. I do know that. That's why I wear it because I don't want to have to worry about touching my face and my makeup coming off. So that's why I gave this one a try and I had my boyfriend wipe his hand on my face to see if my foundation came off and it didn't. So this stuff is so, so bomb. I 100% recommend it. It retails for around $10 depending on where you get it. And it also has a pump, which is awesome. This bad boy is so old. I need to get a new one, but this is an oldie, but such a goodie. I need to get back into using this because I genuinely miss it. Like I should be using this more than my Estee Lauder Double Wear because my Estee Lauder Double Wear is almost gone and I'm gonna have to spend like another $40 to get another full bottle and it's like makes my heart like you know that's a lot of money the next foundation is actually a CC cream it's the it cosmetics oil-free matte 
um, poreless finish full coverage cream. It's definitely full coverage. I used to use this every day before work. I really, really like this stuff. It looks so good throughout the day, but I am going to warn you that if you do get oily around your nose and you go to blow your nose, it will come off. It does not stick on no matter how much powder you use. That's the only thing I hate about this is I'm a very transfer resistant girl. I don't want to have to worry about my makeup coming off. I want it to stay put and not go anywhere and I don't want to, like, I don't want to have to worry about not being able to touch my face all day. Like, I'm the type of person who has to touch my face and I want to be able to touch my face without my makeup coming off. I know, super weird, but if you have any recommendations on transproof foundations that you want me to try, let me know in the comments down below because your girl is looking for some new ones. But anyways, this is relatively expensive. This is around $40, which is pretty pricey, especially since you don't get like a whole ton of product. But it's definitely, it lasts throughout the day, but if you're touching your face a lot, it definitely won't stay. This one's in the shade light, which is actually not very light because this is actually too dark for me right now. So I need to get a lighter shade. This is good for everyday wear and you don't really care like if you touch your face. Like it's whatever, you know, it's just like a throw on, looks good throughout the day, come home, wash it off kind of foundation. It's not my 110% favorite, but I do enjoy it. It is pretty good and I really like the formula, the consistency, and the coverage. And the last foundation for today is not one of my absolute favorites, but I am going to share it with you guys because it is pretty good. This is the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation. It does come with a pump along with the It Cosmetics one. It does come with a pump as well, which kind of sucks because you don't get like all the product like right here sometimes. But anyways, back to the Maybelline foundation. I really, really like this. I haven't used it enough to know if it's like transfer proof or if anything like that. The first few times I tried it, I wasn't a huge fan because it looked kind of dry on my skin. There's a way I like my foundation to kind of lay on top of my skin. I'm super weird like that. And this one just doesn't do it for me. It is a little bit too matte for my, like, my foundation type, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. It is a little bit too, too matte for me. Now, if you have super oily skin, you need something that is matte because once you put this foundation on, your oils are going to start peeking through. I 100% recommend this. Now, if you have drier skin, I wouldn't recommend this because it's just going to suck the life out of your skin. It's not very hydrating. It is very matte. Um, I am going to test it out a little bit more with primers that I like. So far, all the times I've tried it, I wasn't a huge fan, but it is pretty good. It's not my all-time favorite, favorite, favorite foundation, but if I were stranded on an island and I could only choose this foundation, I would definitely pick it out. Um, it says it's full coverage, up to 24-hour wear, seamless matte finish, breathable and comfortable, fade and transfer resistant. So I think I tried the transfer resistant part and I feel like it came off a little bit, but I'm not 100% sure. I do have to try this one out a little bit more, but it does, it does go up to my favorites list. It's not my, oh my God, you need this, but it's up there. You know, I just find this a little bit too matte for me, but otherwise it is a very good foundation. Alright guys, so that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my top 10 foundations for oily slash combination skin. Um, I have been dying to do this video for a very, very long time, but it's been so hard for me to find 5 foundations that actually work on my skin. Absolutely insane. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments down below and give this video a big thumbs up. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys on Tuesday. Bye!